What's going on family? This is Greg Foster here with Market Boss at eXp Realty right here in San Antonio, Texas. And when people reach out to our team about moving to the San Antonio area, one of the main questions they want answered is what part of the city they should live in. They've usually been doing their own research and looking at houses online, but they still want to know what it feels like to live in a certain area. And if you're looking in the $400,000 price range, I'm giving you five homes in five different parts of the city so you can get a feel of what it's like to live here. I'm talking neighborhoods, schools, lifestyle, things to do. But before we get into it, you know I got to give some love to our sponsor. Huge shout out to Joey Solis and his team at Maverick Studio Photography for supplying us with all of the listing photos in this video. As one of the leading real estate photography companies in the San Antonio area, they've partnered with top agents and builders across the city to showcase some of the most beautiful and stunning homes that you'll find anywhere in Texas. If you're looking for the best real estate photographers in San Antonio, then head over to maverickphotographytx.com and book your photo shoot today. All right, let's go. Number one is Alamo Ranch. If you're checking out the map, Alamo Ranch is located in the far west side of San Antonio, just outside Loop 1604, right off of Culebra Road. This entire area has been growing like wildfire over the last decade, and it's mainly because of the suburban, more laid back lifestyle that's going on out here. And as one of the fastest growing parts of the city, the Alamo Ranch area is home to many of San Antonio's newest subdivisions and several new home communities still currently under construction. I'm shooting this video in the fall of 2020, and in the last several years, this neighborhood has gone from being wide open, bare land on the far edge of San Antonio to now being a vibrant community close to lots of shopping, new schools, and some of the best amenities in the far west side. Most of the shopping is off Calibra Road and it's anchored by the Alamo Ranch Shopping Center. And I'm telling you, this thing has everything you need. There's all kinds of shops and restaurants. There's a Target and a Walmart right up in there. It's definitely more of a lifestyle center where you can do everything from getting a haircut to picking up groceries. There's all the day-to-day -day stuff you need for the house. Then right on the south side of the neighborhood, there's one of the newest movie theaters and entertainment centers in San Antonio. And in addition to watching movies, the Casablanca Movie Theater has its own arcade, its own bowling lanes, and there's even a restaurant and bar right up in there. People absolutely love living in Alamo Ranch. You have access to exemplary rated elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools right there with the Northside Independent School District. And when it comes to the home life, there's a number of smaller sub-communities for you to choose from. And while some of these little sub-neighborhoods are gated and some of them are open, they've all got their own amenity centers with green spaces, parks, pools, clubhouses for events. You'll find homes from about a dozen different builders in Alamo Ranch. And when it comes to affordability, our clients have been really happy with what they can get here for 400,000. The majority of the homes here come with full brick exteriors, many of which also have third car garage options. Inside, you've got the benefit of the latest home designs with high ceilings and open floor plans for a nice float throughout. You often see large island kitchens with granite countertops and custom cabinets overlooking the dining areas and living rooms. And a lot of people really enjoy the additional living spaces and home offices with the majority of the homes that you'll find here. The primary bedrooms are always a really good size, usually with tall ceilings and spacious ensuite bathrooms and many of the layouts also feature large secondary bedrooms with Jack and Jill bathrooms and then out back you've got a nice setup with a covered patio perfect for spending time outside really once you take a good look at how much you can get out here for 400,000 it's no wonder so many people choose to live in Alamo Ranch number two is Helotus Helotus is actually a municipality in its own, and as a separate city on the outskirts of San Antonio, it's one of the most popular suburbs in the entire area. If you're checking out the map, Helotus is located in the far northwest part of San Antonio, outside Loop 1604, just off Bandera Road. And it's known for its beautiful homes, its scenic hill country views, and its small town country home vibe. And that's what really draws a lot of people out to this area. You have a community that feels like you're living way off into the Texas Hill Country, and yet you're super close to everything that's going on right here in the San Antonio area. The Bandera Point Shopping Center is right at the intersection of 1604 and Bandera Road, and it covers all four corners of that intersection. You've got all kinds of shops, all kinds of retail stores, sit down restaurants, and fun stuff to do. But it's not just the large commercial areas that make Helotus so appealing. People also really enjoy a lot of the shops and restaurants in Old Town Helotus. There's a really nice Old Town vibe with coffee shops, antiquing, a wine bar, all kinds of outdoor seating for sitting down, hanging out, and enjoying the scenery while you take everything in. Flores Country Store is a really cool spot where people come in from all over the state of Texas for the concerts and the dance halls there, and the entire place is just a beautiful setup for spending time outside. There's just so much to be proud of when you live out here in Helotus, especially when it comes to the exemplary rated schools out here. Helotus is in the north side 
independent school district. And because it's so centrally located here, it actually serves as the hub for a lot of the sports activities and special programs in the area. So when it comes to the school systems, the teachers, and the sports facilities in Helotus, students really do receive the very best of what San Antonio has to offer. And it's been interesting to see how even in the midst of its recent growth, Helotus has still managed to maintain a lot of its slower pace and laid back hill country vibe. And if that's something you're into, then you've got lots of options in the $400,000 price range. One of the premier neighborhoods you'll find in Helotus is Sonoma Mesa, perched right on top of a ridge overlooking the Cedar Creek Golf Course. Stepping inside the homes here, you're greeted with large two-story entryways leading right into two-story living rooms full of windows for all kinds of natural light. The kitchens in these homes really are spacious with custom cabinets, stainless appliances, pendant lighting, and an oversized granite island just perfect for cooking and gathering around for a meal. Many of the primary bedrooms come with coved ceilings, bay windows, and large ensuite bathrooms with double sinks and separate tub and shower. We found that a nice outdoor space is always high on the list, and the homes here in Sonoma Mesa never disappoint. Number three is La Quintera. La Quintera is one of the most exclusive suburban areas in San Antonio, and with some of the most luxurious amenities that you'll find anywhere in the city. It's located in the far northwest side just outside loop 1604 right along the i-10 corridor you've got this perfect blend of hill country views quiet secure neighborhoods and a high-end lifestyle that draws a lot of people out this way there's just so much going on here and a lot of things for people to enjoy right at the intersection of loop 1604 and i-10 this entire area is anchored by the shops at la Quintera, which is the premier open air outdoor shopping mall in San Antonio. And if you like shopping, you can really do some damage in there with more than 190 plus stores for you to choose from. But even if you don't have any shopping to do, it's also just a really great place to go, hang out, take in the scenery, and spend some time with family. There's so many different restaurants with open patios, awesome menus, great drinks, and just really nice ambience, whether you're out with friends or looking for a really nice date spot. One of the favorite things my wife and I like to do in the summertime is hang out on the patio at the Cheesecake Factory with two ginormous pieces of cheesecake and watch the fireworks shows at night over Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, which happens to be right next door to the shops just a little further north on La Quintera Parkway. Really, no matter what you're into when it comes to leisure or entertainment, this entire area has you covered. In places like downtown and further into the city where you have very urban things to do, you have all of that here also. But you also have some of the very best trail systems, restaurants, resorts, theme parks, and golf courses that you'll find anywhere in San Antonio. And even though living in La Quintera still feels like you're way outside of the city with all of the trees and green spaces and hill country views, people here still enjoy very short commute times to several of the major employers in the area. You can get in and out of here literally north, south, east, and west without even jumping on the highway. The La Quintera area just affords you access to some of the very best neighborhoods, schools, and home life in the San Antonio area. And as a more fluent community, the styles of the homes here in these neighborhoods definitely reflect that. Here you're gonna find entry-level homes, townhomes, and condos starting in the upper 200,000s, and mid-range homes that start in the mid to high 300s that go well up into the four to the $500,000 range. With larger homes on bigger home sites and views that stretch so far, you can even see downtown on a really clear day. The newer homes in the area have a combination of brick and stone exterior with some of the very best high-end finishes and home designs in Northwest San Antonio. Now I'm personally a huge fan of dark hardwood floors, contrasting lighter paint colors, and spacious two-story living rooms overlooking the kitchen. I mean for me, hardwood in the kitchen just adds a really nice touch. Because of the larger floor plans, there tends to be more four and five bedroom homes in the area with additional lofts, game rooms, and media room spaces as well. Then of course you can find a home on a cul-de-sac like this one. You've got a backyard big enough to put a whole team together and play football back there. Now personally, I'm not trying to cut that much grass. I'd have to hire that out to somebody. Number four, is Inwood. Inwood is located in North Central San Antonio, just inside Loop 1604, right off of Bitters Road. This North Central part of the city has some of the most secluded and well cared for neighborhoods in the entire area with beautiful homes, tall oak trees, and larger home sites. You've got quick access to every major highway system in the city, and for a lot of people, it's the perfect location when it comes to getting anywhere fast in San Antonio. You're literally minutes away from all the shopping, restaurants, and entertainment at La Quintera and Stone Oak. And when it comes to commute times, the north central part of San Antonio is arguably the best location in the city 
city for being right in the middle of major employers in the area. You've got the Texas Medical Center and several other employers in the financial services, energy, and oil and gas industries, just a quick 10 to 15 minute drive away from your doorstep. If you're looking for great school systems, you're located right in the highly ranked Northeast Independent School District. So some of the top ranked elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools in the district. One of the best things that you'll notice about Inwood is just how manicured and well-maintained and how established everything is here. The HOAs here really do an amazing job of keeping everything beautiful. And for many people, it's just that classic tight-knit gated community where you know the people on either side of you, you know the neighbors in front of you, the neighbors behind you. There's this wholesome vibe that a lot of people are looking for and they tend to find it right here in Inwood. Driving through the neighborhood, you've got these tall oak trees that line the streets and stretch up over the homes. You see families out walking in the evenings and kids out riding their bikes and playing together. There's just that strong sense of community and safety that a lot of people really appreciate in a neighborhood. Much of Inwood was developed in the early 90s by some of the top builders in San Antonio who still build a lot of luxury homes in some of the top communities in San Antonio to this day. And while many of the homes here sell for well above 500,000, it's amazing what you can find here in the $400,000 range. One of the things that I really like about this neighborhood is just how all of the homes look like they're straight out of a Hallmark magazine. Even though much of the neighborhood is 30 years old, so many of the homes here have been maintained and updated really well. This one in particular was recently remodeled and it's just full of so much character and personality. There's so many details and newer finishes that stand out and make it different from what you'd expect to see in a more established neighborhood. Everything about the space makes it easy to unwind and it just draws you in with this homey and inviting vibe that's perfect for lounging or entertaining. Number five is Indian Springs. Indian Springs is in the far north side of San Antonio, just east of Highway 281, right off of Bulverde Road. And as one of the newer neighborhoods in the far north side, Indian Springs is a big draw for people looking for a slower paced, more suburban community. You've got all the conveniences and amenities you'd ever need with quick access to the 281 corridor, full of shopping and restaurants and fun stuff to do all just a few minutes away. The village at Stone Oak has all kinds of shops and stores for your day-to-day -day shopping. There's the Alamo Ranch Draft House Theater, you've got a Sam's Club right up in there, and a really nice HEB just on the other side of the highway, and a super wide range of restaurants with all kinds of Mexican food, Asian foods, burger joints, barbecue spots, and even a main event right down the road. There's a fair amount of hills and topography in the far north side, so you can actually see much of San Antonio from up there on a really clear day. Families in Indian Springs benefit from two highly ranked school districts with Northeast and Como ISD schools offering a lot of activities, extracurriculars, art and theater programs, and sport programs for all of the kids here. There's so much involvement and support from all the parents and the teachers and the school systems here, and that's always a huge part of what makes for a strong community. Really, there's just so many great things about the neighborhood with the different sections that you have in here. Over the last decade, there's been nearly a dozen builders in here, all building at the same time, so it's really just a big development. And there's all kinds of diversity when it comes to your neighbors here in the area. There's lots of families, a ton of military, along with people that are both in retirement and nearing retirement age. There's some really great amenities that you're gonna find right there in the neighborhood with a community pool and a splash pad, parks, walking trails, and some amazing hilltop views overlooking the nature preserve right in your backyard. And with a fairly wide range of pricing in Indian Springs, many of our clients have been really impressed with what they can find here for around 400,000. This one right here was probably one of the biggest homes that we'd sold earlier this year. At more than 4,100 square feet, you've got a three car garage, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a craft room, a spacious kitchen with two tone cabinets, and tons of counter space flowing right into the main living room. Then you head upstairs and there's the equivalent of a whole nother living room with the game room up there, a master suite that's nearly 600 square feet, and really generous secondary bedrooms with plenty of space for everyone to spread out and feel comfortable. Then of course you head out back into your own private oasis complete with a large covered patio and a sparkling in-ground pool, just perfect for this hot summer days. All in all, you've got a small castle in one of the best suburbs in far north San Antonio with the kind of lifestyle everyone's looking for when they move out this way. Now, if you want any more information about these neighborhoods or the kind of homes that you can find here in San Antonio, our team's getting calls every single day from folks just like you looking into the Alamo City, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating anywhere in the San Antonio area, then give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving to San Antonio, Texas.